and welcome back everyone out there to another episode of the project webtoons podcast number six we're in it we're ready Woo. how's everyone feeling out here today again i'm not dead and it's always good to hear that every time you say it <laughs> how about you, you Sarah? just let me die i mean i could but it's I'm... not gonna happen <laughs> i'm doing all right you doing all right man yeah, man. Just oh. Got no sleep last night. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, pretty I young. see. I see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been a busy <laughs> week all around. I can definitely agree to that. It has been a very, very busy week. Um, I'm not sure about you, but uh, did you? Uh, I mean, I know you end up playing a lot of Call of Duty mostly, but for me, Final Fantasy, the demo dropped this week, so I was all on that. <laughs> Actually, I've been playing a lot of Division Two lately. Oh, really? yeah nice oh because division 2 just came out with a new expansion so i've just been all over oh okay all right i see it i see that's not too bad Mm, cool i know uh apex uh apex legends just i think hit up their new season i've been checking that out on the side but in between all that of course there's been just a plethora of webtoon reading that i've had to go through oh yeah big time so so have i (laughs) there's a lot a, a whole lot for me to catch up on and yeah, so <laughs> another like two hundred chapters of Tower of God. Uh, I've got at least three. I still got two hundred of God of High School. <laughs> a couple of, uh, I'm almost caught up in uh, I Am the Sorcerer King, but I still got to go through all of Goshu and <laughs> everything else. So it's Bruh, that's too much that we got to go fucking read. <laughs> I think Tower of God's the only thing I'm behind on. So, well, of course, but okay, you consume good. most of everything, so that doesn't mean much at the end of the day. <laughs> You'll catch up with them like. A couple days, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but hey, we uh, we did get some good ones this week. We actually got a lot uh, this week. We got multiple chapters in between with uh, solo leveling, descent, Inso's Law, and my wife as a demon queen. Uh, um, yeah, one just one chapter, but one chapter one of legendary. Chapter. I don't understand why we are, are on such a, a weird dip, a drip feed of legendary. It's <laughs> If oh. anybody knows, they should blame come the down. corona. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> blame the corona. Does anyone got a bottle of corona? We can just toss it out the window. Just like it's all your fault. <laughs> uh, you just. <laughs> uh, it's in the fridge. I don't want to go to the fridge. Right? Oh man. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Well, we still got at least a nice amount to cover for everyone out there. Um, yeah, we got some new developments across the board. Uh. Also with, um, what you be calling, uh, Peerless Dad, uh, the whole plan that's coming together with him and what, uh, Uncle Ak is, uh, was brought in for, we kind of learned more about that too. So we've got, we've got some things to cover, so we won't, uh, we won't keep everyone's time and just dive right into it though. Uh, all right. So I don't know, uh, what are you guys feeling you want to talk about first? Let's just go down the list. You want to just go down the list? All right. So... I'm going to just hit us off right at the top here then. Uh, how about some uh, Descent of the Demonic Master? Let's start right off there. We're at the uh, part where he decided to do his Korean uh, military year. So uh, it's, I don't, uh, as it being, you know, a former military man myself, it's actually quite interesting to see how much of a uh, similarity or I, I don't even know if, this person actually has any sort of military background to know what the fuck's going on mm-hmm. because throwing the grenade like that was definitely something that I saw and I was like, that guy's going to like fuck up immediately. <laughs> like you, you saw those panels and you instantly knew, I know he's about to fuck. I know I've seen this very thing <laughs> in my own life and I know what's going to happen. <laughs> also, I'm surprised oh, they, they started off like actually throwing grenades. You, you throw practice grenades first. All right. Like someone's going to fuck up the first <laughs> They, 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 they need to get through this quickly. <laughs> they don't have time to go through practice. You, you, we start right they got at the... five weeks to be there. They got... <laughs> uh, they got to get through it. They got Yeah, they got to push through. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, yeah, him starting the military service was, was really funny. But especially right after the whole... Uh, our our, um, our previous session with the love confession. 
mm-hmm. and um playing on his like uh his mentality that um he see i i did notice this finally and i had to think about it also i needed to find the proper word but he's actually very apathetic at how he treats um everybody else especially even those he cares about that like he doesn't pick up on a lot of these signals he doesn't um, pick up the social cues yeah he doesn't really pick up the social cues but i mean he's so focused on just not you know really trying to rock the boat anyway that it in turn ends up causing trouble for him especially after we don't even have to right after that whole situation even in the military um he him just performing better than everyone else rubs everybody else the wrong way even though he doesn't no, he, like he's that one guy in the military during boot camp who like asks for more but no one wanted any more that's but what the, that is. But the thing is, is he didn't ask for anything. He just no, no, no. You, we get it. You don't ask for it. It just happens, <laughs> all right? You you they open your mouth, you. and then they're like, "Oh, you open your mouth. Thanks for volunteering for more shit." <laughs> uh, yeah, but unfortunately, with him volunteering, it's not just him. The whole platoon gets volunteered to do extra shit, and it, and it really does piss a lot of people off. Um, all right, rip off your masks. <laughs> you're above your mat. Yes. Are you having I... difficulties? Uh, not really. No. Right, everybody here gotta suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he takes off the mask, it's just he still stands there like just it's not just going down. It's not going down his, down his, tears, 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 his face. But he's just like, hmm. Did I leave the Did I the leave the oven, oven on? on? <laughs> I, I can't remember. Like, uh, uh I, I want to ask you, Ark, about that. Like, since you have been in the military, did. Did you have to go through all of that too, like tear gas training? Yeah, we did that. Like, okay. Tear gas training is probably some of the worst training. It's uh, it's usually a yearly thing. It was, it's a pain in the ass to do. Uh. Just and then and then it, it becomes a hazing event because that's also not including them doing like push ups and like doing crazy ass shit while they're doing that. And you're just like, oh, encourage this apparently. <laughs> oh, man, I. <laughs> I, I definitely wanted to reach out to a few military friends and just be like, so if I give you this, how much of this is accurate to how crappy it was for you? Like, is this is this close enough? Or is this even like, there's some stuff in there that even they're not like entirely showing? <laughs> Maybe. I think, my, I think my only real problem with it is that a lot of the recruits talk, like a lot of talking when it would be more like everyone is quiet up until like nighttime and then they start talking shit to each other mm-hmm. when they're alone. But there's a lot of talking in between, which kind of like seems very lax for uh, drill instructors and such. But mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I don't know how it is with the uh, Korean military like that. I, I and it's, again, I'm a, I don't know if this person has actually any sort of military experience and is just assuming or is hearing off stories what's going on here. I see, mm-hmm. okay, I mean. Uh, that does make sense so but i figured it would be a little weird if the whole thing just went around with uh, only him giving internal monologue the entire time and then every situation is involved with just them after you know uh after active training just them arguing in their barracks or something so but no this was uh, i still enjoyed seeing this this side perspective as well as you know jin ho's just sudden decision decide to do military training out of you know nothing just because more or less not even like he needed a, a change of pace in life but he just like well this is something i have to do, do it. I, I might as well get it out of the way kind of thing so <laughs> uh but um i don't know uh, I, i'm guessing that we'll probably just get a lot of time skips and we'll just have him just shoot through the two years because i believe that's what he said it was military it was mandatory two years correct i don't know if I uh i do not know korean mandatory time well, no, he actually states in, like, one of the chapters that it's a mandatory amount of time. So he figured he'd just get it out of the way as quickly as possible. But I don't know if we'll see um, if we'll see any interference from the Martial Arts Association in this or anybody else that might be in the military as well that's just watching him since he is, uh, he is being far, uh, far and above than the rest of the recruits, comparably. So... Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I really want to see red haired king guy again. <laughs> oh, you want to see the? Uh, uh, you want to see one of the leaders, one of the head leaders show yeah, up? Yeah, <laughs> I want to also see the other two leaders show up eventually too. I mean, That'd I'm sure dope. they. I'm sure they will. I kind of want to more see some of the subordinates pop out because I kind of want to know how big the, the whole like organization really is. I want to just mm-hmm. see see more see a few more people just kind of kind of make appearances 
Um, more world building? More or less. More or less. You, you, you pretty much figured out the word I'm trying to get to. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but speaking of that and with more world building moving on there, we'll head over to uh, My Wife is a Demon Queen. Uh, still in the dungeon. But we are, I think we're just about at the end of it right now. Since uh, we're in the middle of a fight. Uh, and the team is all back together now, too. Oh, uh, okay, I got a question about what's that. Up? What was the point of separating them? And also, what was the point of having the golems, which are supposed to be the guardians of this thing, on a different floor of where the <laughs> thing is actually at? Like, there's no guardians in the room, right? Not where the, where the treasure thing is at. Nope. So, I I have no idea what the point of this is. I, I know what, what, what it's trying to do, but... Did this make sense? Uh, from Not a design really, perspective, honest, like no. <laughs> I mean, like I guess they had the golems. Well, they were just standing still in the beginning, and then this like they true. activated when uh, Eli and uh, Moto. Yeah. When they walked by, um, and then they just activated out of nowhere. I think it's because like, you know, they got separated because of the fucking collapse and. Well, the, yeah, and, they 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 all fell like a few that. extra levels, so my guess is you know the original. Like they 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 were originally supposed to go past the golems. But but it, they couldn't do it because they fell down okay. a couple levels. <laughs> so they kind of bypassed the whole guardian guard, golem statue thing, whereas L and them just landed right where they needed to be for that to activate. So mm -hmm. yeah, from a design perspective, not great, but. <laughs> um getting to see how the, the way the ancient technology that they have works pretty great yeah because they can regenerate the golems can also copy abilities uh and we also got to see one of them kind of used magic considering it froze eli's fist yep and then threw his attacked. own attack at him yeah. yeah and then threw the the shadow strength right back at him which i'm guessing this is uh this is one of the main golems because it looks like he shattered some of the other ones but uh, this one this seems to be made daddy. of a, yeah. This one seems to be made of an entirely different substance, and it's able to adapt to whatever attacks are thrown at it. So mm -hmm. this this is the big boss that they're trying to get through. So it's um, time to see like just technology like that from the ancient times that they had for this ancient civilization. You know yes, what I mean? Very much so. But it brings more perspective into what's going on and this is very who true. these people were. Mm -hmm. Very much in agreement to that one. Um, we did finally get the weapon that, or item we were looking for, and also what essentially it seems to do. Um, it being able to not only steal boundary force, but also it can Give bestow boundaries. boundary force to other things. So um, our our little dragon, that, or well, our lizard that kind of became a dragon, and then is dragon. now <laughs> very very heavy on the quotations there, but now is uh, more, more or less a pet <laughs> than anything. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm not sure how they're going to set to handle most of this. It seems like things are not exactly working in their favor. <clears throat> um, they especially decided uh, at one point to just run away and the moment that it noticed it took the item and they're running the golem like uh-uh and uh blocked the entrance so yeah, the golem was like oh you thought you could get away <laughs> oh no we ain't playing these games y'all <laughs> uh just straight up you ain't taking my shit no -uh. that's not how this is working today this is so, yours hobby <laughs> so we now actually have to take on the golems full out so um with everything that's happened so far, I know Eli's pretty much almost 100% tapped to power since he's been in full fiery Saren mode most of the uh, last couple of chapters. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get maybe a new uh, technique from YB or a new uh, experimental, a new, toy. a new toy from uh, Zhao Ying as well. So I'm kind of wondering what what, what y'all think we're gonna uh, we're gonna move forward with going on this one since we're it seems like we're just about at the end of, of this particular. Uh, issue. Uh, we're also forgetting uh, what's her name, the Regent's daughter. The Regent's daughter. daughter. Well, I mean, she's she still, bounced. you know, she, she, she's watching, uh, but she might not watching. help. She might yeah, not help. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if she's willing to uh, sacrifice herself potentially to, yet. To lend a hand. Yeah. So <laughs> we also don't know if she's in the room. She may just be on the outsides of it with everything that's crashed mm -hmm. and happened. So. Um, but yeah, I did. I did kind of forget that point that she was lurking around in the shadows. So there's a there's there seems to be a few different uh, possible perspectives we could go with here. 
Um, but it's good to see that, you know, things are, uh, are finally coming to a head and that we can, we finally can maybe get out of this area and move on to another part of the story, hopefully soon, if, if not later. Um, yeah, any, uh, any last words on that one for y'all, from y'all too? No, not really. It was a single chapter and it, I don't know if it, I'd say it, it progressed the story. It, it brought the team back together. So. It did bring the team back together. So if we're good thinking about progression, that's probably the only progressive part of it really um yeah we haven't really, <clears throat> we haven't really got out of any of the danger yet so um yeah but we'll look forward to uh going with more chapters once that uh, hopefully gets concluded and we can get to the next part of our journey with the group and the team there see what uh, they have going on um let's uh let's go ahead and keep moving here you know what i'm actually gonna get our one chapter of legendary out of the way since it was so so short we can just drop right into that one um yeah so is, is it bad that it was so short that i do not recall what actually happened so basically See? do both of you <laughs> oh wow so it, it was a very unmemorable chapter i mean basically all i remember was we saw the old crew and then at the ending of the chapter, we see we get back into the game. <laughs> That's basically the only thing that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I wasn't the only one who thought that nothing happened in nothing that happened. chapter. No, yeah. Nothing. Nothing, nothing progressed really. Happened, <laughs> we, we got next. Yeah, we got to see the group reappear. The group is sad that Weed's not with them. Weed is on the other part of uh, the world, trying to do the final parts of his quest in order to. Uh, get the dark elves the orcs and the humans to all fight um the new the, the threat coming and he just goes back to town to basically get supplies and that's kind of it <laughs> not not a whole lot happened the only other thing that happened was like just some random dude going hey he's over here <laughs> uh well i mean that, that has been one thing that we hasn't really run into is the his high level of popularity hasn't actually been shown uh, within the game, even though he's actually more well known than he probably thinks he is. No one's really, uh, no one's re really like bum rushed him or tried to like get him to do or join their group or anything. But see, that's also a pr I feel like that's a problem because like in real YouTuber streamer thing, like immediately, immediately, everyone would been like, let's like we have to go get be his friend or like. Everyone has to go, like jump on his group or like something like the amount of people that do not know him now or something. It seems kind of weird and probable. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know that he's not like a direct like YouTuber or streamer. He goes through a corporation and basically just gives them the video and then they, uh, you know, just drop it on. They the apparently board. decide to stream the entire three hours. Yes. Yes. But they, they're the ones that control it. So um, we also don't know how. Um, how the operating of the game works either like if people can just find a person online and then friend them is immediately like they can't they they can't just meet them in game they have to or they have to meet them in game before they're allowed to actually friend them so that could be a reason why he hasn't been like spam bombed with like thousands if not you know hundreds of thousands of like requests to be his friend or to join their guild or something but uh if, if if the way that the this chapter ends and everyone is like he's in town and everyone is looking for him we'll we'll get to see that and basically get that uh that that clarification finally mm -hmm. either way and then also i want to note that they got a new artist Did for legendary moonlight sculpting yeah because they literally literally at the end of the chat the, it changed. They, they showcase about a dude trying to draw for legendary moonlight sculpting <laughs> And then it says an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> so I guess that's why they've been holding off on a bunch of chapters lately, is because they were trying to get a new artist. A new artist for it. And... Okay. I mean that'll so, definitely uh, that, that that'll definitely put a crimp in your your schedule if you if you don't have an artist to come out and draw for your work. It does kind of move things along and make things a little difficult. So hopefully the uh, the new artist can get on there, get on track, and we can start getting back to a, a regular uh, weekly schedule uh, again. <coughs> yeah, they said that uh, they're gonna just keep going at it. And okay. Hope that we enjoy the unexpected season three of the legendary Moonlight Sculptor. So we are on season three. This is true. <laughs> they acknowledge it. You know? <laughs> they acknowledge that we are on season three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all good. Yeah. Well, 
hopefully we'll uh we'll keep the pace on that and things won't uh we won't get oh. this weird dry spell what's up you're gonna say something? sorry i i'm not i'm not feeling so well give me a second what okay i'm you, I'm better now. You, you feel better? They yeah. Shot his you feel he better? Rolled in it. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why you you took so long. You, you feel? Are you okay? Is this because is this because we went out to eat last night? Is this what this is? You slipped fish in my food, didn't you? This is what happens. I mean, I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. But that's your fault for not watching me. All right. You want to cut oh, out me breaking you, down there? You, you okay? You okay, sir? I'm good. What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey. You want to cut out me breaking down there? What's wrong? Are you all right? Just, I, just I keep going. I was looking at me. You, you got the show. Just keep okay. going. Okay. I mean, I, I didn't see anything different really happen. She just arc just became exactly what I've always known. Nothing happened really, huh? Well. I guess we'll, since we got giant surprises happening all around here, we might as well keep going with more surprises. Let's move over to Peerless Dad. Uh, Getting to meet Uncle Ox some more, which is pretty dope seeing well, where he came from. He is also like a mercenary for... Yes. He was like on a team with them, so there was, there's more of them. Yes. Yeah, That's, there's like what? Like a dozen more? A dozen more. Or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the team that and, uh, they and had. Yes. Uh, not only a dozen more, but also it appears that uh, Dad was... The leader of the team. Uh, mm -hmm. it, uh, I don't know if you had to say leader. Like, he just kept them together? He kept them together. He, he was the guy who just, like, calmed everybody down from making fights with each other. Well, I mean, he, he, oh, seemingly, <laughs> he seemingly has enough pull that he could contact Ock and make him come to him. You know, and he said, even, you know, Uncle Ock said that if you like, if you contacted them, they would have all appeared too. So he seems to have enough pull to at least command them at some level. Um, but, you know, he told them that he doesn't want them all here because they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't be up for the way, for what exactly he has in mind of what he's trying to do. <laughs> and, no, I think he's, he's more worried that they, they're too rambunctious uh -huh. and that they'd probably like, do they're more than wild. what was necessary yeah probably yeah they're just too wild that, I mean, that's literally what he was saying about his old crew was like oh they were just wild as fuck mm. i mean it makes sense we, we've seen him for a little bit in the past and he definitely had a far different mindset than he does now so right. it makes a whole lot of sense that you know he, he'd be very picky and choosy about who he brings into his current life um but, I really enjoyed the conversation in the restaurant between Ak and uh, No, yeah. Because like Ak is like, man, you changed so much, and No is just like, man, you try having three guys. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Let's that. See panel. how you change when you have kids, bud. <laughs> I saw that panel, and I instantly thought of a game. And it was just like, man, I got three kids. <laughs> I I gotta feed all these little mother. I was like, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, but it makes sense, you know. Life life life's gotta turn around when uh you got a whole new perspective of people to take care of. So, um, but yeah, uh, Ock making that that comment about him having kids and him changing, but he also made a comment that you know he seems a little weaker even when his fighting style. He's not. Uh, it's, it seems well, more he's, timid. He's no longer more like, I'm going to throw my body at you. Because mm -hmm. he's also trying to learn how to use, you know, inner energy right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Granted, Ak hasn't yeah, picked yeah. up on that, it seems, that he's trying to learn that. He's just, he just uh, notes it as it being more of a weakness or a difference than he was in the past. Yeah. Where, you know, his mercy. Ak is just used to him running in head first. And exactly. Going at it like crazy, like we saw when he was trying to rescue his kids. Mm -hmm. He just ran head first, no defense. I'm just going to go whoop all their asses and call it a day. Yeah. That's what Ak is used to seeing. But then, like, now that he's seeing that his fighting style has changed a bit, he's just like, it seems you've gotten a little weaker instead of, like, taking it as, you're more cautious now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Instead of just being more cautious about everything. But hopefully... Um there's there'll be more reason behind it later on other than just the kids and it is like art said it's him learning his new abilities and he doesn't probably want to kill some of these some of these individuals like right off the bat um mm -hmm. so but we did hear that uh his full full plan is that he definitely does 
want to take over the underworld. He wants to all of, uh, not just um, with uh, his, uh, his fellow warrior brothers, but even bringing in maybe some other people to basically run the underworld so that they can more or less keep the crime down. Uh, it seems to be the overall plan. Now, Ak doesn't 100% seem like he's on board with it. Just, I'm not sure if it's, like, you making this plan. It sounds a little fishy, or if it's just like, I don't think this is as solid as you possibly are guessing it might be. Um, no, I think he seems like, oh, because you're weaker now, you probably don't have the strength to maintain something like this. Mm. And we probably need the rest of the crew to probably do this. Okay. Mm. I mean, it definitely could be that, but I mean, if it is that, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if this, if it is truly that, do you think he would actually cave in and call the rest of the crew or I, even a handful? Again, of Chekhov's gun. There's no point There's in no introducing point. something unless <laughs> it's going to be happen. <laughs> uh, very true. Very, very, very true. So we'll have to see uh, if he decides to go through with that ideal, if it is going in that direction. Um, we did get another little side story. We actually got a, a pretty decent side story with the kids this time around too, and what they've been up to. Um, the, the son of the nanny. The son of the nanny shows up and is uh, seemingly a little pissed that she's spending all her time taking care of them than rather taking no, care of him. No, he's more he's more envious that the kids have a father like they do, and that they do better with him. Because that's because at the end there he's like man if I had a dad like you guys' dad then I wouldn't be as weak as I am or something like that right? Well, it seems that he was getting picked on by some of the other kids in the school, at least the school that he was at. Um, even much more so that when uh, the uh, when Now's kids all like were making the idea of like going and seeing him at the school, he uh, he told them don't come, it'll be more of a burden to him in the long run. So I don't know if, if 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 it's just he so much doesn't want he doesn't want them to see him as uh, being bullied and being treated weakly, or if it'll just make him look bad that you know he has to get somebody from the outside to help him. Either way, um, I mean, I'm sure the kids are going to end up seeing what happens. No, they, I'm sure they will. Like, they, I mean, the whole fact of them oh. bringing it up, I'm very positive that it will be it'll go into that because right away. The daughter instantly said, why is he acting so weird? That doesn't seem, this seems really strange. And we know that she's just going to investigate on her own and probably figure it out. Um, and the two yeah, brothers will. that's what will. she tends to do. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see. Uh, great, I don't say, say hopefully. We'll see some more uh, of the of the new skills that they've learned because I'm sure we're going to be putting them to the test against some of the other kids. And if anything, it's going to get them in more, slightly more trouble that they're uh, beating up other associations members' kids again, as they did mm. before. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... I mean, it's not a problem if you're just stronger, right? That's yeah. that's, that's how they dealt with it before. It's, it's a problem between kids. Let the kids deal with it. Yes, because we all know. We all know our, that solves all problems, right? <laughs> yeah. There In is a it... world where you punch real good, yes. <laughs> huh. It's I almost... Oh, no, keep going, keep going. I was going to say, I, I wonder if that's very reminiscent of another webtoon that we know about where you punch real good, but it doesn't solve the problems. Hmm. Does anyone know about John? <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> why my hair started to look like John? Hold on. <laughs> no! Uh, sometimes punch real good does not fix all punching, all problems, unfortunately, across the board. <laughs> uh, that when guns exist. Like no. Uh, Not when Nin, guns Nin exist. <laughs> What's I was going to toss in about Nanny's kiddo. Nanny's kiddo? The, yeah, the, the Nana's. Oh, Nana's. Son. Okay, yeah, yeah. How he's like busted in going, yo, y'all taking my mom like this? <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all can't do that. Why are you taking my mom from me? And then they all just, hey, they all try to get buddy eat some buddy food. Again. Just yeah, eat just some food. And then, with us. <laughs> see, the kids solve it the best way. They don't punch to solve their problems. They put food in your mouth and you're like, shut up and eat. They're and smart everything's kids. okay. They've Everything works the best out. Of the best. Of the <laughs> if you just eat some eat some meat, you'll be good. And it's all okay. Uh, this is uh this is what we should be giving world leaders right here. This is the keys to making peace. 
everyone gets some meat. <laughs> you ever see Donald Trump give out Burger King and McDonald's? <laughs> Man, first, he Man, give away McDonald's. Man, I hate that so fucking much. <laughs> Man, when you telling me that you're supposed to have that much money, but the best you can do is if McDonald's. McDonald's like, come on. Seriously. He, Bruh, if you, you got that much better. money, the least you can do is Manny Steakhouse. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> can do give better than heat. this. <laughs> what you doing? You, that's just like a slap in the face. Uh. <laughs> uh, speaking some slaps here, let's move over to our, last, uh, our next one here, solo leveling. Surf, you're my uh, you're my go-to for the talks with these by far. Dog, meeting Thomas Andre, seeing Chinese man go in, <laughs> giving the coronavirus out left and right to these ants, boyo. My man, <laughs> that Chinese man, when he showed up, I was like, I fucks with him. <laughs> I keep. He had the long hair. He had the twin dragon. Twin swords. Going. Just one blast from his fucking swords. <laughs> Hundreds of ants are down. <laughs> that shit just went crazy. Uh, oh, fuck. And then, like, oh, man. Min Bune's funeral, dog. Mm. Rem gotta remember that Fallen. Like, that one kind of hurt. But, but my boy Jin Woo looked fly as fuck. That's all I really <laughs> gotta say about that. Still looking and good. Then, but, like, seeing as we got to meet Adam White. Yep. Uh, the, uh... The guy who helps run the, the Hunters Association Bureau, mm -hmm. uh, trying to come up with a solution for Jinwu to try and transfer over to America. Yep. And then, as he introduces the Upgrader, yes, which uh, is going to be a big thing, which is pretty dope to me. Like a, a, an awakened who can awaken other awakens. Yeah. To a further extent, like we thought that the only way you can further better your abilities was just. A reawakening but now you can further your reawakening even further beyond that <laughs> what is this dragon ball thing yeah. right <laughs> just taking you further beyond than you thought that you could be that's what it's all I mean, about it's good to know that there, he's not the only one well, that yeah, be... who can who can advance further on like that yeah you know? i mean you kind of figure that there's probably another one out there like him in the <coughs> system Maybe that's how the national national level guys got to where they are now. Possibly. Because they met Madam Selmer, Selmer, something like that. Yeah. But they prob the Hunters Association Bureau probably introduced the guys for the national levels to her. And then that's how they became the national level hunters. Because they were probably already S classes. And then they probably advanced further to like double S or triple S class. Yeah, it could you know? be that. Um... And maybe that's how Goga and he is so strong, since Jin Wu still won't throw smoke with him. Pretty much, yeah. It it could be she could be the very reason for their uh, rather high increased levels. Um, mm -hmm. We'll definitely have to see. Uh, it'll make it'll be more confirming if you know any of the if he runs into any of the national levels and they make comment about her or comment about upgrading themselves in any mm -hmm. way, shape, or form. Um, but it does also show the weird power dynamic that America has that they've um, that they have this individual in their midst and they've been holding on to her until you know they need to like something actually worthy gonna... shows up exactly so like per se Song Jin Woo yes so just to show like there are others out there that can rise to that <laughs> level or they just show enough prowess that you know it kind of tweaks their interest that they hey we want them because there's something special about them or something that they specifically have that no one else can do and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that they're at least in our camp so now that i also uh, want to note in what's up? that about the, uh, the the media side of things now mm -hmm. we're starting to see jin Wu pop up on the internet starting to, for people to throw shade at him for joining in the raid so late we're starting to, to get the world reaction that i've i've wanted to see yeah. You know, like within like the last two chapters after the Jeju Island arc so far, they didn't really show off the the media side of things of how the internet, the world is handling Sung Jin Woo. But now we're actually seeing it come forth and come hold of it, you know. And well, it's I, pretty tight to see how people are like praising him, how people are like talking shit about him. I mean, if he was there earlier, none of that would have happened. Yeah, no, it's very true. If he was there earlier, none of that would have happened at all. He would have just sold that entire thing. 
none of it would have probably happened. This is very true. And he does reminisce on it too when he's uh, at the funeral. He is thinking about it um, a little bit to how himself. He, how he could have saved Min Mune. You know? yep. He could have made sure that Cha Hai didn't get fucking knocked Injured, into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> a lot how, more. How like the whole Japanese team wouldn't have probably died. Mm -hmm. You know, because we still haven't gotten the confirmation part about Japanese betraying everybody to the world yet. Exactly. You know? Granted, I mean, technically, so. the way it's seen is they did not betray the world yet. Because... Well, they have it because their plan didn't work. Yeah, so they it, were never able to actually. Out well, technically, quote unquote. Exactly, and nothing worked to their to their level. So, um, yeah, I was definitely going to bring up the whole world's reaction to everything, but this is also the first time that the the outside world has seen. Jin Wu in full action, where most of the people that have are all individuals of the association, and they were. And, and even then, they still haven't seen Jin Wu go all out. No, they hadn't seen him go shit. Control, like, fully all out. They so, only seen him summon a couple things and fight a couple things, but they never actually see. Unless you're Cha Hai, then you see him go all out. All yeah, out. she's seen the army. You know? Yeah, she's seen the army when they were fighting Tusk. Yep. And as well as the uh, the the observer division. Oh, the dude with the orange hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He witnessed that whole thing too, seeing Jin Wu just summon out all these creatures. Mm -hmm. so, literally just him and Cha Hai knew about what he was about. Yeah. Compared to like Gogan He and the rest of like the other S class hunters. Exactly. You know. So um I mean the, the the nice thing and the top thing for me on this is that now all now that the world knows about his abilities, all the other fighters that are up to his level or even beyond are now starting to appear out of the woodwork. Um, yeah, like we and, got to see the Chinese national. We got to see the Chinese hunters. national. We got to see Thomas Andre again, talking shit, going, "If you touch one of my property, I'm a, I'm a flame your ass." <laughs> well, he's our, well. That was the one thing I even brought up before is that with his appearance, would that incite challenge or even rivalry? And it very much did. He's already got a target on his back from two individuals. One of them wants to acquire with America, but. The other dude, Thomas, he's, no, he's straight up, he wants him dead because he knows after. What he's about. <laughs> well, it's not even that he knows what he's about. He realizes, he's like, wait a minute, so-and-so's brother was killed on a hunt with this person and now. His dad shows up. And then this other dude shows walks. up and just walks through my other. So he straight up knows that he's like, I'm, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm taking this out. This is my, this is, you don't, you don't, with my toys. That's it. <laughs> this, is, this is my domain. You don't mess with what I own. So he's already got a target on his back from that. He's already being targeted by America to um to have to, to be required recruited. to be recruited. There, um, the dude on the, the Chinese on the boat. He even before the chapter really got started, even he was throwing some flame at Jin Wu. <laughs> even he, he was, was talking like, shit. Man, I wanted to fight that ass. And, yeah, he, even he was talking shit. I was just like. What <laughs> man, if you wanted to fight that at before, hey, you should it's, exactly that boy. It's like, you... where was you at when this was going down? <laughs> so, where was you at when baby girl was getting slapped into the wall? <laughs> so, we've got we've got a few challengers, and and at the very end, before the closing chapter, who I I mean, I thought uh, I thought Moonbok with, with the orange with the with the full beast form was full, <laughs> was just straight fire, but that dude. Came walking through like, I don't even, I was like, what, what's going on? <laughs> and he's just like, I should just kill you. Why are you even talking to me? <laughs> and uh, the frost elf just is like, we don't have time for that. We're looking for somebody. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. They, just, they, they get they, to see the other. The hidden uh, group. The, the hidden. Right, the, 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 like the conspiracy guys, the, the hidden group that definitely seems like they're the ones who are opening the gates or has something to do with this whole development of everything, yeah. Well, they seem like they might be other people or other, they might be creatures, just like some of the monsters we see in there that are humanoid that, but they've made it out of the gates. We they have actually... literally seen ice elves. Yeah, we've orcs, seen the frost elves. And like, pretty much like all the things I could talk. What if there's like other, there's a higher orc than Tusk. It's very it's possible. Like on those guys' levels since there's multiple of them. You know well, what I mean? Because um, the fact that we've seen the ice elves, we see another ice elf show up. He's probably the leader since he can open up portals like it's nothing. Yeah. Well, both of them seem to be able to do portal jumping, um, but they're 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 not hunters from this world because they they gave themselves a classification 
they're like the champions of whatever race or top that they are. So he was like mm -hmm. the beast champion and the other one was like the elf champion. So, um, and he and said that they're, they're on a mission looking for someone specifically wondering why that person's here and why he's helping them. And that makes me wonder if they're talking about Sun his dad Jin or Sun Jin Woo. Well, if, well, since like, I've always been bringing up about monarchs. Yes. There's always multiple monarchs, mm -hmm. you know? And for Jin Woo to be able to get the ability of a shadow monarch, what's the possibility of they're just like those two being well, other monarchs they're, in they're, their they're, world? Yeah, they're probably the beast and elf monarchs, um, very mm -hmm. much. Now, but they've never, but they seemingly haven't met Jin Woo, and the way that they were discussing it, they seemed like they knew the person that was the new monarch. Like they said, they're wondering why he was here. And I was like, well, you've never met Jin Woo. How do you know if it's well, even male or female? The, the way I think about it is like, even though, like, what if the, the old Shadow Monarch, per se, was male? Possibly. And then, like, because, like, they've seen signs of sh uh, the Shadow Monarch arising around in different dungeons, you know, and sh like that, you know, they probably realize that it's the Shadow Monarch and they're trying to find out why the Shadow Monarch, who from should old. be their ally, yeah. you know, type shit, is helping the humans mm -hmm. instead. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I get you. I get you. I get like, you. that's like the, the, the mindset I had for it, thinking about it, like, because. I always bring up the monarchs because if there's one, there's got to be multiple. Because no matter yeah, where you go, we don't, we're multiple. not particularly sure if there has to who be they're multiple. referring to, anyways. We'll That's true. Give it another chapter or two because this is actually where the plot plot actually begins, I guess. Yes. And this is one thing I was definitely happy for is that this is plot. <laughs> we're, we're starting to get that. We uh, we're not just getting an overpowered. We're not. Yeah, we're not getting an overpowered fight. Which even though I like them, we are getting that development into the next part of the story. You the know. story development that we deserve. Oh. <laughs> 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 that we truly, truly deserve. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm excited to see where we're going with this. I want to know who those two are and exactly what it is they're looking for. Um, I'm hoping also with this that dad is going to show up again now because things are starting to get a little heavy. And mm -hmm. even Jin Woo might not be able to handle some of these newer uh these newer combatants by far you know they i mean just from the first <coughs> opening scene homeboy just dozens of ants i'm like so he's he's straight up ready to fight an army on his own <laughs> mm -hmm. you know i see the atmosphere change around thomas andre in that solo instance right there oh yeah <laughs> we we know thomas andre is about it <laughs> oh yeah very very much so so uh we'll have to see how jim Wu goes forward with this uh what his decisions will be um, not to mention where his loyalties are going to lie, because I think a lot of this is going to test exactly where he's going to stay and also who's he, who he's about to uh, anger or piss off because of those decisions. Uh, mm -hmm. So I am I am looking all forward towards that. I, uh, I know you are too, Sarah. <laughs> Pretty much you are the one right away to let me know when solo leveling drops. <laughs> Always. Always and forever. Uh, <laughs> so... But yeah, uh, let's let's keep moving on here. We got one more in the bag right now, so uh, we can finish us off here on Enso's Law. <coughs> I've not read the latest chapter yet. I'm gonna be honest. What? God damn it, Jimmy! Because uh, I don't uh, even know it came out hey, until hey, now. Hey, hey, it's not me this time. Ha! <laughs> I, I was. Uh, a, uh, right. I actually started so, uh, it before we started. Oh, you could have literally been reading it while we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a computer God. right there. His multitasking is not that high. You don't leave him alone. <laughs> he didn't I'm gain that ability. Modern girl. <laughs> he didn't gain that ability. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, but all right. So I guess it'll be. Well, I mean, you can keep up with the, most of it. Man, it'll be me and Ark this time. Um, but uh. From where the last chapter left off, we had that eye getting cornered by um, our new, our blondie new, our new new bestie trying to more or less confess, but it really was I want to be your best friend, and her getting helped out by one of her uh, one of the four kings stepping in and literally telling him it's not going to go down that way, and that's because she doesn't like people like you. <laughs> You gotta list off this, you gotta list what? off this. She likes brown hair, she likes brown eyes, she likes guys who are just a little bit taller than her. She doesn't like people with, you know, weird natural hair she colors. She doesn't like people with non-natural hair colors. That's why she doesn't like us like that. Exactly. And just giving his breakdown of Dan I's laws and her all her rules to, 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 to how to win her heart. Uh, but yeah, so that just, 
straight put a stopper in Blondie's plans of, of everything and Dan no, I just walked it. It didn't put a stop because it put a stop at that was, at that situation, I mean, at least. It it also helped Danny realize that we're at the point where she just kind of accepts, like, oh wait, these people are people too. Like, there's no point in me acting like they're not people. Mm-hmm. She very much, uh, well, she's starting to recognize them. It's not as... fair. It's not fair on, <laughs> to them because they're not the ones that are at fault. Well, they, yeah, well, they're just as much, they're not complicit in what's happening in this supposed fake story she thinks she's in. They're, they're just being who they are, you know, a, 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 as the best they can be. They're not, uh, they're not actors. That they're all just, victims. Yeah, more or less. Um, but the, uh, the one thing though that comes up after that with uh her getting cornered by one of the other girls in the school and they start she starts hounding her about getting uh one of the four kings numbers and, hey uh you you know this oh, person yeah. uh, give me a phone number give me the phone uh, number uh <laughs> no no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and just and the, she keeps pressuring she keeps him, pre- pressuring the, the, the pressure she keeps throwing on her to like let her to get her one of the numbers from her and you're just like now granted this is year two of school so she's been through this before but it mm-hmm. seemingly like trips her up a little bit like i said no why aren't you going away like usually that's the end of it but mm-hmm. no this person seems a little bit more uh persistent about trying to get that and using the whole you know well it's it's not fair that you get their numbers you're their friend you should i should be able to get that number too and then um, we get Blondie jumping from the second story floor, coming in, saving the day. Ah, uh, always. <laughs> uh, well, Blondie, Blondie sees the situation and, and uh, basically gets her out of it, and then gives that whole uh, that whole spiel, which Ark was bringing up with them being like real people. Like he he gives this whole speech, like we're and she sees it as we're not act, they're not actors that can just be replaced. As she has seemingly tried to uh, more or less take them all, as she can just walk out of the frame and they'll all forget her and you know go from there. But mm-hmm. so we get another little deep dive into her mindset. But as, very quickly, as uh, the the situation was becoming a little heated, she <laughs> clocks her head on a desk and remembers, "Uh, uh-uh, I'm not going to fall for this." Because <laughs> things were getting. We a also little get deep uh, <laughs> what's her name? Her her best friend Yuri, also getting confessed to Yuri mm-hmm. Yang right. for the hundredth yeah, yeah, for the hundredth just... time in what would they say they've only been in school for like two days? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And she's already been to confess to over a hundred times, <laughs> and then a homie decides to get a little handsy with her. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that panel. <laughs> oh boy! But and now he's about to get his shit rocked by. I mean, uh, by more than a few different guys right there. There's gonna be uh, about like one, two, three, six people about to jump his ass, including Yeo Rang. <laughs> yes, I saw that panel where she just like the, the hair brush back of. And who the f- do you think you is? <laughs> and then Blotty McBlotty is just gonna jump it out. Oh, we about to whoop his head like that! Uh, friend- That's all I can imagine from the next chapter. <laughs> uh, friendship is powerful, even when it means everyone's gotta throw hands. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Things are definitely progressing forward. Um, I'm not sure if we... I don't think we've gotten too much uh, going forward on what the plot structure is yet for at least what uh, the story would be between uh, Dan I and uh, Blondie. We know that uh, she's still trying very, very, very hardly to like push off actually learning anything more about her, uh, her past or more or less why she's being chased. But everything seems to always be curving back into that no matter how much she kind of... I think it's going to end up having it where Dying is going to get like kidnapped, kidnapped. by the. I'm kind the of feeling like that's what's going to happen is that she's going to get kidnapped, and they're all going to have to either they're going to have to do something to come and save her. Um, I don't know if this will slowly also get the rest of the other class to like start meeting up with the four kings and Euro Yang, because uh, Blondie seems to already be well deep into it. Um, mm-hmm. but the uh, the twins have made an appearance and they've kind of uh helped her out and so as uh um the two other guys i cannot remember their names the the, 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 the track the star the, yeah the two best friends the track star and the one layup dude um they've also helped her out so i'm kind of wondering if you know yeah she gets kidnapped and everyone's got to come and do the rescue <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. get kidnapped by the men in black 
<laughs> to try and get Blondie to, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, since we still ourselves don't know exactly what's going what's on What's going on with that? Like, is it the mafia? Or is it because your dad's a movie star? Yeah. Are they trying to kidnap you for a ransom? Or what's going on here? Man, what... It's crazy being a high schooler in this world, isn't it? You just, you got to worry about so much. Kidnappings on the side, you know, your best friends being the, the hottest thing in town. It's so much. So crazy. Coronavirus. Uh, Mr. That too. No. <laughs> uh, still have yet to see Mr. Delinquent again, man. No, I think it's we're going to. Wait, I'm waiting for it. I mean. I, we'll I see him again. You, like, we, again, we check out his gun. It's There's, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how he's going to end up playing into the story, but there's no point in having him show up and not show up again, right? This is true. This yeah. is very true. So. Is he going to go from delinquent to nice guy, or what's oh, going to happen? I, I, I don't. I know. have so no, many questions for he that. He was man. always a nice guy. He was a good a, a good guy at heart. It was just <laughs> he was in the situation where he was the bad guy at that time. That's all it was, right? That's uh, that's usually how this stereotype goes, right? Yes, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I I hope not. <laughs> if anything, Dan, I will notice and be like, nope. <laughs> Left, just right door out of this whole situation. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So more to come on that. Hopefully, uh, they've been dropping chapters for that one pretty pretty fast. We got what was that? Three four chapters we got between the breaks. It so, was about three yeah, chapters. About three chapters. Yeah, three chapters about. So, which time. Yeah, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a resolution to all of that going forward pretty quickly here and be ready for the next show because I'm definitely ready to down and talk more for it. Uh, but, I mean, I think that that's that's everything for this week, for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Next time, um, we're going to hopefully have uh, Sweet Home ready to go because I'm almost caught up on that. And uh, you two are been... waiting on you. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm the sole one. Hey, I wasn't the only one not to read the latest chapter of something this week. Leave me alone. Uh, but <laughs> if you haven't read Sweet Home, start. It's a good horror story. Good horror story. Oh. Very, very good horror story. Ten out of ten. Fucking recommend. Yes, yes. Uh, I wouldn't say ten out of ten. Uh, but... We gotta make them read it. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I read a lot. I so know. My standards is like this is for the viewers. Okay? <laughs> we gotta do it for the viewers. Uh, your standards are so damn high. <laughs> Just like the rent. Oh, uh, but yeah. Fuck, so I feel that one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, sweet home next time. I still got to catch up. I got so much to catch up on. So, so, so much to catch up on. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're just a little, we're not too far over, but we can uh, we can probably close this one out because, you know, we got more stuff to jump into, hopefully here soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. You want to you wanna roll us out there, Seraph? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I appreciate if you guys managed to get all the way over here. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to make sure that... You get caught up on everything, make sure to hit that little bell. As well as share along with the other Webtoon readers, we're going to leave a link to our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and the Project Manga Discord down below. <laughs> Thank you much, much, much. All right. Well, we can uh, we can, we can can definitely check off and sign off here. Yeah, keep saying check off. I got, you, got, you said it so many times, Ark, I got check off gun in my head. Damn. Uh, That's fine. Uh, At least it's being used somewhere. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and roll us out here. I'm, of course, your host, The Sleepies, which I just realized we never said our names in the beginning. Ah! I was going to say oh. that, but I beat you did introduce. It's all right. We you got intro next time. <laughs> we got your boy, Seraph, here. And this is our Dragoon going out. And we'll see you all next time. Have a good week, folks. Take it easy. Bye-bye.